Game one of the 2016 NBA Finals is in the books, and the Cleveland Cavaliers look in serious trouble. Is there any chance that they can win this series? You're watching James Carter TV. Yo, what is up, guys? Hello and welcome. This is James Carter TV, and today we're going to discuss game one of the 2016 NBA Finals. And man, did the Golden State Warriors absolutely kill the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, that's the way it looks like. See, here's the thing. The Golden State Warriors, they controlled this game pretty much throughout most of the first half, really the second quarter, and the fourth quarter. Those are the quarters where the Golden State Warriors really dominated the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs kept up with them in quarter one and actually surpassed them and played better than them in quarter three. So when you look at the game and you look at the breakdown of things, the Cavs were on the Warriors level, but you could tell throughout the entire game the Warriors were just the better team and they really pulled away in the fourth quarter and the majority of that has to do with their bench play. I think they ended up with about 43 or 45 points off of the bench. Absolutely tremendous bench performance by the Golden State Warriors. A night where Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson did not play very well at all. Stephen Curry ended up with 11 points. Uh, Klay Thompson ended up with 9. Uh, that's 20 points combined before this game. The lowest point total that they had combined this whole season was 29. So this was their worst combined performance by far. But the bench of Golden State stepped up when they needed to. Specifically, Sean Livingston who had 20 points and this guy was looking like the guy that we thought he was going to be coming out of college all right this is a guy that was a fourth overall pick back in like 2004 or whatever it was and he's been a disappointment to each and every team he's been on the, since that moment but this game and uh, man, this guy was absolutely on fire, hitting mid-range shots like he was Kobe Bryant out here in terms of just hitting turnaround J's and just mid-range J after J after J after J and a nice little layup and some free throws. And boom, he ended up with 20 points. Great uh, performance by Sean Livingston. But I did hear Mike Breen and Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson on the broadcast. They were saying, Sean Livingston can start for a lot of teams in the NBA. No, he can't. All right, we've seen him start, and he's not very good. But as a role player, yeah, he's a great role player. He is not a starter. Relax. All right, so moving on, Andre Iguodala played well today, and I called him out. Remember in my final prediction video, I said, Iggy, I need to see more from you offensively. Some of you took offense to that. I stand by it, guys. He hasn't been very potent offensively in these playoffs. But today, he ended up with 12 points, which is the most points he's had in the last six playoff games. So I'll take that. And he has some big shots, a nice three. It got into Matthew Delavidova, who, by the way, is a dirty player. I mean, Matthew Delavidova is a dirty player. I thought they should have ejected him. In the third quarter, uh, you have Andre Iguodala running up the court on a fast break. Matthew Delavidova, and by the way, the ball is Andre Iguodala's left hand. Matthew Delavidova, uh, you know, coils up and boom, hits Andre Udala in the midsection. Everyone in the world pretty much thought that this was unintentional, that it was just a foul. I thought it was a dirty play. I thought he should have been ejected. This is Matthew Delavidova we're talking about, guys. And I've never seen somebody coil and boom, hit somebody in the freaking balls like this. I would have suspended him for three games. I can't believe he got away with this. I, I thought it was bad. Maybe I'm alone. Maybe I'm crazy. But this coil and boom, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I thought it was bad. You move on, LeBron James needs to be called out today, and I'll be the one to do it. Horrible performance in the fourth quarter by LeBron James. He was 2 of 5, he hit a 3, but man, he had turnovers late. He didn't play in the beginning of the fourth quarter when the Golden State Warriors started to run. But when he did come in the game, he got turnovers, he was missing shots, and he was passive LeBron James. Yet again, a bad performance in the fourth quarter by LeBron James. And he's going to continue to you know, say that he's a great player. And we know he's a great player. I'm not denying that. 
But when we're talking about this being a series, and I know he's the underdog, I don't care. This is a series where he needs to really prove to us how great of a player he is in terms of the NBA history of things. And I made a video earlier this year talking about it. There's a guy across the court, his name is Stephen Curry. And if you're not careful, he's going to go down as a better player than you. He is. I mean, we're talking about, hello, if you lose this series, Stephen Curry is going to have two. How many do you have? Two. Stephen Curry, what does he have on his belt? Well, now he has two consecutive MVPs. You have four. He's catching up. What does he have under his resume? Oh, the best record of all time, beating Michael Jordan and the Bulls. That's something that you haven't even gotten close to doing. You only got 66 games in one season. So he has that under his resume. And he has a higher PER than you've ever had. This season's PER was higher than LeBron James has ever had. And Stephen Curry is beginning to be better than LeBron James ever was. He's beginning to surpass LeBron James's legacy. Now today, Stephen Curry did not show up, and you're damn right about that. But you get away with it when you win. When you win, yeah, I don't care if you scored zero. As long as your team won, you can get away with it because you can say, I didn't do anything or I relaxed because my team didn't need me. And honestly, by me shooting, I was being more of a detriment than a, you know, plus for my basketball team. You can get away with that. But when you're losing, boy, you have no excuse. And LeBron James has no excuse today. And I'm telling you this right now. The Cleveland Cavaliers need to win game two. I think it's a must win because here's the deal. With a horrible, horrible performance by Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson shooting the ball, the Warriors were still able to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's bad uh, because what's going to happen is I think they're going to win a game in Cleveland, game three or game four. They're going to win a game in Cleveland. So unless if you want to go down 3-1, going two, going say for game five, you got to win this game. I think you have to win game two because, man, the way it's looking right now, I, it's not looking good. And I think they will, actually. I think Cleveland will win game two. I have the Warriors winning this whole series in seven. But if the Warriors win game two, Man, I think there's problems there. Again, I'm going to go with Cleveland. I think Cleveland will get things together. I think Curry and Clay will be hotter in game two, but the bench will not nearly be as hot. And you'll see LeBron do better, Kyrie, Kevin Love. And by the way, again, LeBron, no excuses today because Kyrie Irving actually played really well. Kevin Love played really well. Kyrie Irving finished with 23, 26 points offensively. Kevin Love with 17 points. That's plenty of help for you, LeBron. It hey, didn't do well in the fourth quarter, lost the game, no excuses. You are the underdog in this series, but you have to perform better or you will be two and five, ouch, in the playoffs, in the finals, excuse me, and, and that's bad. I mean, there's just no escaping that. That is bad. It's time to wake up. You got to perform for game two because, man, they looked really good today and you guys look like a team that were a, a fish out of water. To say the least. Until next time, James Carter TV. What were your thoughts on this game? Comment down below. Like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, I'm out. these hoes on killing. Nigga came from a dope dealer. Dirt bike four wheeler. Come to the street, I'm pillin'. Come to the street, I'm pillin'. And I might just lose the ceiling. And I'm trying to grind up on a million. And I might kill it if I feel it. Yeah, yeah, damn right I kill it if she get it. Man, got a stench.